emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hello and welcome. I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is a build for emodels.co.uk. Uh, this is the Lindbergh Science Kit Skeletal Foot. Uh, now, if you missed the first video in the series, go and watch it, because this was that was the building of the foot. The foot is now built. Um, the stand is only one piece on the screw anyway, so it wasn't really any building on that. Uh, the foot itself has been built and all glued together. Uh, now, it comes in, in the kit, so the ankle is articulated, as are the toes. But I've glued them all in place to make it easier to display rather than having them, you know, flapping around. Uh, so that was the first build in the series. This was the second build, the painting. Uh, now you can leave it as is, although it's got some sort of shiny glue bits where I filled in some seams and narrowed it down a bit. So painting it is going to be the preferred method of finishing it off. Uh, and the paint I'm going to be using is a selection, obviously, from e models. Uh, we have, yeah, uh, right, first up, we have the uh, Mecha Color Primer. So I don't need any separate primer for this. Uh, this is the Ivory Primer, which obviously being bone, Ivory seems to go well with it. Uh, we also have some Elphic Flesh and some White Grey uh, to add a bit of color and texture to it. Uh, and then we have some washes. We have uh, Oiled Earth and Umber, a shade, uh, to again add some aging and sort of weathering to it. And finally, some matte medium to sort of give it a, a finish. Uh, so the, the foot itself is those and a combination of those. Uh, the base I'm going to be doing in sort of like a wood sort of ish wood effect sort of thing. Um, so that needs priming in a, a normal primer rather than the the bone one. Uh, now most of this painting is going to be done airbrushing. Um, so I can't video and show you that because it doesn't really work. There's too much noise from airbrushing and the camera doesn't reach as far as the, the spray booth. Uh, but I will show you the bits in, be in between stages. So this is obviously the starting stage. This is it, the foot built, ready to go. Uh, I'll get some primer down and then we'll see how it looks from there and I'll talk you through what's going on next. Well, I'm halfway through priming it and I thought I'd show you the, the difference. Obviously I've, I've done that bit, not that bit. So already it looks more foot-like. Uh, just being in that the slightly yellow sort of ivory, ivory color. Uh, just looks much more realistic than the plain plastic. So if you're not going to paint it, I'd still recommend getting down a, a coat of primer to make it look better. Uh, that's the, the base primed in grey, uh, so that will be getting some more sort of wood colours on there momentarily. Uh, but I've got to finish off this bit, do the other half, and then leave it all to dry. The base I've done in uh, Vallejo's uh, Model Air Mahogany. Because uh, it gives a nice sort of wood colour, wood effect. I might put some more texture on it. I did sort of sand down and, and put in some sort of, not not exactly wood grain, but a, an, an idea of some graining on there. Obviously this bit's going to have the big sticker over it, so I don't worry about that at all. Um, when it's fully dried, I'll see how it looks. I might need to do a little bit of, not, not so much weathering, but tidying up and making it look a little bit more wooden, more, more used. Uh, the foot has obviously been painted in the ivory primer. Uh, now, as ever, when you put primer on it, you'll notice things. Uh, so the one thing I have noticed on here is along this uh, small foot, uh, the seam lines popped out and yeah, I can see it now. Uh, so I shall be sanding that back down again and then repriming, repainting that. But apart from that, everything else actually has come together quite well. Uh, another little bit of the seam down there, but not enough to worry about I don't think on that you've got to really look for it to see it and by the time the other painting and the weathering has gone on the top I'm, I'm happy with how that's come out because it's a bone it's not meant to be smooth and shiny but that's that's quite a noticeable um, seam there so I'll attend to that uh, and then come back and start doing some more weathering I don't need another coat of primer on that the the Vallejo uh, Mecca colors uh, all of them not so much the washes but all the other paints are actually really good they're very very thick color a very opaque. Uh, so that's all I need to do with that. I'll leave that to dry fully before I attempt any sanding or anything. But uh, it's getting there. It's not going to take a long time to paint this because there's not, you know, lots of detail to add in. But we'll get the base colours down and then see how it looks. 
While I'm waiting for the foot itself to dry, I'm playing around with the base. Uh, I tried getting some sort of wood grain on it and it just didn't look right at all. So I've given up with that. What I am doing is just a little bit of dry brushing um, to almost sort of give a, a sort of wood grain effect but without really there being any, any wood grain. So this is just a lighter brown. Uh, I'm just sort of picking out some edges and on the flat just giving a little bit of it only just sort of shows up a little bit just a little bit of texturing just to make it a little bit less boring than it was before uh, so that, that's all I'm doing with that I'm then going to go over it again with a, an even lighter wood colour it's, it's called wood uh, which is a, a different colour again um, a little bit more I don't know not even sure how to describe it it's sort of a very very light brown but yeah uh, just to create a little bit of variation a little bit of uh, I say difference to it all just being a plain colour. Just gentle dry brushing, trying to keep the direction going in, in one direction to keep it I say as if there is a sort of grain if you look hard enough for it. But not really putting much paint down on there at all. It's just a an idea of texture rather than actual texture. Um, and I'm gonna paint the stalk in black just to mute it back down again and when it's going to go up into the foot as well just to tone it down so it's nothing at all so uh, yeah I'm happy with the base now that's finished it's got a bit of texturing to it not heavily but that's where the uh, label is going to go so I was sort of testing out a few bits on there which didn't work quite right but the rest of it I'm, I'm quite happy with it's got I say some subtle variations uh, I've painted the post in black as well just to blend it in uh, so, the foot itself, I've tidied up the, the seam down there, sorted that out and re reprimed it. Uh, next up, I'm going to use some uh, umber shade. Uh, I'm going to airbrush this on, not all over, but just sort of subtly trying to get some definition to like knuckles and things like that, where, where on a real bone it looks a bit rough. So I'm going to try that, see how it goes. Uh, and I'd say I can't video the airbrushing bit, but I'll come and show you what it looks like once it's done. So that's the umber shade uh, shaded in. I've almost covered all of it, but lightly in most of the places. Uh, I've gone heavier, hopefully you can make out on the video there, uh, in sort of the knuckles and areas to give a bit of variation, a bit of uh, shading, just to make it look a little bit more real. Uh, so that's that. Um, next up is the, not the amber shade, I've just used that. Uh, I'm going to use much the same thing with the Oiled Earth Wash uh, from the Mecca Colour. Um, it's a, a slightly different colour and it will just add a little bit more variation to that. So I'll get that done and then come back and show you that. Right, this isn't coming out quite as I'd hoped. Being that it's more of a wash, I'm, I'm going to be applying it a little bit heavier and then going back over with some of the lighter colours to bring back the highlights a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it's not, not picking up in the, the recesses as I'd hoped it would. So I'm going to go heavier and then bring it back. Well, that was before and, and this is after. Yeah, I went even heavier than I thought I was going to go um, because it wasn't getting into the, the grooves and the crannies. So yes it's very very old and dirty and worn now around the uh, the cracks and the seam lines so now it's just to bring it back again uh, it's back in with the the ivory primer back to where it was and uh, but it won't be getting in the cracks I'm gonna sort of yeah you'll see how it looks I'm gonna go over all of it a bit but not getting the joints so hopefully it will be this sort of finish most of it but the knuckles and the joints will still be dark and dirty. We'll find out how it looks in, well, in a little while for me, but in about two seconds for you. And we're back to almost where we were before, back to the starting sort of. Um, it's not quite the same. It's got some depth to it now, rather than just being the clear sort of ivory color. Uh, now it's got some shading and some depth, which is what I was aiming for to begin with. So I'm going to do much what I did before again, again, but not quite so heavy as it was the second time around. Somewhere between the two. Uh, so it gets some colouring and discoloration around the joints, 
blending in with what I've got here already. Oh, let me put another light on. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'll get the, the two colours down once again, the uh, earth wash and the umber shade. And we'll see how it looks after that. So see you in a moment. That's all the dark and the shading done. I'm I'm happy with it. It it looks more real. It looks like a proper foot that's been you know removed and is okay. One last thing I'm going to do uh, a little bit of the um, the game colour uh, elfic flesh. Uh, just sort of dry brushing. Um, I've just got some on a brush, and I'm then I'm going to remove most of it. Uh, now this is again a sort of a a pale yellowy ivory sort of color uh, I'm just adding some now being that it's dry brushing so it's not adding a lot of paint it takes a lot of going over to change the color but it just makes a little sort of highlights here and there just going to pick out a few sort of high spots and, and continue to knock the camera with the other end of the brush uh, just picking out some extra detail just getting rid of most of the paint from the brush so just not not everywhere by any stretch just a couple of bits here and there i don't i in my mind it's not exactly you know any particular part of a foot maybe it's been you know damaged at some point in the past just to create a little bit more variation just to draw the eye a little bit save everything being too uniform too too boring and plain so dry brushing takes quite a while and it is just little bits of touching up here and there but it just creates a little patch of knocking the camera a little patch of variation color change so i'll get a few more bits of that done and then we'll get to the decals it's a foot it's got decals not not many but yeah we'll, we'll get the decals on there and then we'll be finished so i'll see you in a moment when i finish with the dry brushing so that's it build completed uh it's it's all right i'm happy with it, it it's coming out much as i imagined it would um obviously the build was last time this is just the painting uh which i say has come out okay i will be affixing it to the the stand i'll be gluing it in place on the stand uh, but there's one more thing to do uh we need to do some stickers uh not decals they're actually just stickers uh but they're going to be quite good fun uh i need to learn about the foot before i can do it so we've got the big instruction sheet needs to go onto here. Uh, it's actually not an exact fit. So let's start from the top and try and get it sort of central in there like that. There we go. Uh, so this is telling us all about the different bones and the things. We've got some numbers to put on there. Uh, they obviously aren't that great at counting. Um, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13 and some extra ones obviously in case you lose some. Uh, now looking at the skeletal foot medical, it's proper medical stuff, it's got a medical thing on it. Um, obviously that's why there's multiples, because there's two for the toes. Um, the bones of the foot, we have fibula, tibula, talus, I'm not going to read them all because I'll, I'll be rubbish, uh, but it tells you the first one, the fibula is the little bone at the top, tibia is the bigger bone at the top. Uh, so we just have a little sticker one, a little sticker two, which I shall be placing in place on this. Now obviously it's intending to be displayed from that side, so I'll try and put the stickers on in such a way that they'll be visible from that side uh, but they're just stickers I'm not going to film putting the stickers on uh, once they're on in place I will be giving it all a going over with some matte medium just to sort of varnish it off and finish it off nicely uh, so once that's done I'll give a little display of it and it will be done so see you soon for the finish and with a finish with some uh, matte varnish just to lock it all in and the stickers all in place I'm happy with it. it. It's come out. I've got the stickers in the right place as well. I double checked. Um, yeah, it's quite nice as a display piece. It's 
it's very displayable and it looks better being painted rather than left as the plain plastic so I'm happy to have done that um, I'll finish off with I say a shot of the entire finished finished thing um, it's been a fun build it's not the sort of thing I would have chosen ordinarily to build but uh, as a, an experience it's worth trying uh, pick one up or something similar so they do Lindberg do a few of these science kits uh, so there's lots of different things there's say the foot there's a heart there's a eye a tooth um, they all look like they could be interesting and fun and you can make something better of them than just the basic kit I say a little bit of paint and sort of weathering it's, I don't know weathering is the right term but yeah that sort of thing um, it finishes it off quite nicely so uh, I shall get this packaged up and it shall go off to eModels probably next year um, and I'll start looking around for my next build so uh, yeah pick one up uh, eModels.co.uk you know where they are have a look see what they've got um, thank you for watching it's been an enjoyable build I hope you've enjoyed watching it along with me and I'll see you soon for something else something a little bit different but more the same different than this different something a bit more in my normal calling shall we say so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye